guys, welcome back to House on a Hill. In today's video, I'm sharing another thrift haul. I wasn't planning on doing another thrift haul video this soon, but my favorite store sent out a text saying that everything in their store was going to be half off, and that included furniture, Christmas, everything. So I couldn't pass up that kind of a deal, and I headed over there yesterday, and I came home with quite a few finds, and I just thought I would quickly share everything that I picked up. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was this beautiful red Woolrich um, raincoat. And I love that it has this red and blue um, checkered print on the inside. It's flannel and it was in really great condition. I like that it's kind of vintagey looking and I really needed a raincoat because I don't have one and it's been raining a lot here and I thought this one would just be perfect. This coat was originally $15, but yesterday it was $7.50. So this is only one of the two clothing items that I picked up, but I really like this. While I'm at it, I just thought I'd share with you, these are those $2 faux Crocs shoes that I bought the last time I was at the thrift store, but they're very comfortable and I really like them. The next item that I picked up was a navy and white turtleneck. Um, I really like the length of this turtleneck. I like the material. I know a lot of people aren't fond of turtlenecks, but I really like them. And I saw this one and it was only $2, so I picked it up. Now I did find a few things for Sarah Jane, like this cute fur, faux fur vest. It was $10, but I paid $5 for it. It's brand new with the tag, Cynthia Rowley. I believe it probably came from TJ Netmax, but I thought it would be really cute over some of her dresses for winter or just a nice little um, addition to her outfit. I also picked her up some pink tights. Um, Sarah Jane lives in tights because she likes to wear a lot of dresses and you need something to keep those legs warm. But I really like the pattern of these tights and the color. She doesn't own any pink tights, so these were a dollar. So I picked these up. And then the last thing that I got for Sarah Jane was this cute little set by Maggie and Zoe. It's a tutu, green and gold sparkle tutu with a unicorn headband. And Sarah Jane loves to play dress up like a lot of little girls and I thought that she would just absolutely love that. It was $4.25, so I paid a little over $2 for it. The other items that I picked up were all home items. I picked up a few Christmas, and then I picked up a few dishware kitchen items. And the first one being this clear trifle bowl. I had a bowl like this, but it actually broke, and I've been on the hunt for something similar so that I can make... Um, I make a brownie dessert that's layered with Cool Whip and strawberries and pudding and the kids absolutely love it, but I didn't have anything to put it in. So I was glad I found this. This one was $6, so I ended up paying $3 for it. I also found this little beauty. I really loved it because of the pewter bottom here. I thought it was the detail on that was so beautiful. I really like the scallop here on the top of the dish. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be using this for. Originally, I thought maybe I could put a small cake in it or a dessert or cupcakes and use it as a cupcake stand. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be using this for, but I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And it was originally $8 and I paid $4 for it. Now the next few items are all Christmas items. The first thing that I found was this cute little nutcracker. Um, it's a, actually a candlestick holder, but I really loved it. I just thought it was adorable. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put a candlestick in the top of him. Um, I like to, near my kitchen sink, have a little area where I have a candle and then some kind of decorative item. And I just thought this would look really cute next to a Christmas candle. This one was $1, so I paid 50 cents for it. The next Christmas item I found was this beautiful crystal. It looks like a Christmas ornament and it's a dish that I thought you could put candy in or 
My mother-in-law suggested putting lights in this, um, but it was $4.50, so I paid $2.25 for it, and it's very heavy, and I just thought it was really pretty, so I picked that up. Okay, I guess that's the end of my thrift haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to be honest. I go thrifting at least one time a week. I live about 25 minutes from town where I do grocery shopping. It has the Walmart and Kroger, and it's also where our thrift stores are. So when I typically go to do grocery shopping is when I also make my rounds to the thrift stores. Um, yesterday was kind of a special deal because I wasn't picking up groceries, but they were having that surprise sale and I wanted to get to it. So um, I will be posting a lot more thrift haul videos. It's actually something that I really enjoy for me after being home with the kids all week. It's just a form of relaxation to walk through a thrift store. Um, I also, of course, love looking at everything in there and seeing the lots of treasures that people bring in to donate. So I'll be sharing a lot more thrift haul videos on my channel. So if you enjoy this type of video, please let me know. And remember to please subscribe and to like this video. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks. Bye.